Hi friends, Russell here. A uh, little installment of home DIY. Uh, got a Maytag dishwasher here that the uh, control panel has completely come loose. Um, yeah, so we're going to replace this today. Uh, got a brand new factory Whirlpool uh, control panel. Whirlpool and Maytag are the same company. So uh, in the description, I'll put uh, links to model number, part numbers, and everything for all this stuff we're doing. Um, pretty simple repair. We've already done this once. This dishwasher is about eight years old, so this is the second time I've had to replace it. Um, they just don't make them like they used to, but we'll get started here. Okay, so there's four screws uh, that hold this panel in, and actually the problem with this panel is the back and the screws have actually um, broken. So that's why we're replacing it. So it's really easy to, uh, easier said than done, right? Unplug the connector and this one's bad. So by doing this myself, I'm saving a service call, um, I'm saving money on the parts. Uh, this part is about 100 and, eh, 150 bucks or so. So if you paid somebody to come do it, um, it'd be whatever their labor charge is for you know, the call out plus the you know, one hour, two hour labor, whatever they're going to charge. Plus their markup on the part, because you know they're going to mark it up. I'll have to reach in the dishwasher and get that. And it's just a matter of the little uh, plastic ends break break off from repeated use.
goes on simple enough, slots, line it up, just pay attention as you're doing it. Don't over torque the screws because that's how they break. That's all there is to it. Four screws on the back side. You pull the panel out, disconnect the electrical connector. Um, put the new panel in. Don't over torque the screws. Job's done. Um, honestly, with this this particular Maytag, um, a little bit of a not a bad design, but flimsy. Stainless front, but it, it what what happens? I think is I have teenagers, and they jerked this thing open, and it just broke it. So, um, easy enough repair, saved me a bunch of money. So, if you like this content, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon for future notifications, and as always, there's more to follow.